so guys welcome back again to another ifix tech video today we are going to be replacing the screen and also the back cover on a samsung galaxy s20 plus first thing is lose the headset of the back cover for that you can use a heat mat, a heating gun or you can use the eye opening set from iFixit. Just place it for 2 minutes on each side of the back cover. Now you will use a suction call to pull the back cover until you are able to create a gap. Then you can use a tool to cut the adhesive inside the back cover. Once you cut the three main sides, you should be able to unfold the back cover and remove it from the phone. Now let's remove the fillet head or cross head, star head, however you want to call it, screws from the motherboard. Now let's move to the screws of the bottom side covers. Now we're going to move to the top of the device and we'll begin lifting this metal chill and disconnect the battery flex cable and then the wireless charging flex cable. You can remove the wireless charging along with the speaker and the cover all in one piece. Also, you can now remove the motherboard cover. Now let's remove the screw that is holding down the motherboard. Now let's connect some flex cable from the board. The first one is the camera on the top. Second, let's remove the screen flex cable. Moving to the left should be the volume button flex cable. Let's remove it too. These two can stay connected as we are going to remove the whole thing together. Moving down to the phone again, we are going to remove the three Phillips screws that are holding down the soup car next to the USB port. Let's just connect one more flex cable. Now we are going to remove the motherboard. With your tool, you can insert in one of the edges of the board, just below the camera is good, and then lift out the board away from the chassis. Now we're going to remove anything that doesn't come with the new screen. Whenever it is on the old screen that is not on the new one, you're going to have to swap it out to the new screen. Now for the battery, I recommend before attempting to remove it, just drop some isopropyl alcohol drops under the battery, let it work and you should be able to lift the battery very easy. Same thing with the vibration motor and the camera, the glue on it is very strong so just drop some uh, small isopropyl alcohol under it, just let it work and you should be able to remove those very easily too. Now that everything is out from the old one, let's move to the new screen. Let's connect the vibration motor on the new screen. Oh. 
Also, we can now install the camera on the new screen. Remove the adhesive and reinstall the battery. Now you can install back the motherboard. Reinstall the motherboard single screw. Reinstall and connect the front camera. Reconnect the screen flex cable. Resecure the volume and power button flex cable. Now move back to the bottom of the phone and resecure the soft car into place. And don't forget to reinstall the pre Phillips screws. Reinstall any remaining components. You can begin to install the cover along with the metal shield, the wireless charging and the bottom speaker. Also, don't forget to reconnect the flex cables. Let's proceed to reinstall all the screws, the one from the top and the one from the bottom case. Finally, we can proceed to put back the back cover. On this case, this is a new one. I uh, just need to remove the plastic on the tapes and this is a transparent one. Only thing you have to do is just apply pressure while you put back the cover. After the cover is on, a good tip is to put something, maybe like a book uh, on top of the phone, leave it for maybe two hours. That will secure the back cover better. And then it's just gonna be the moment of the truth. Put power to the phone, test it out, make sure that the screen works good, like on the corners, the edges, like when you touch it, everything seems to be smooth. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you like it. Don't forget to like, share if you think it will help someone else. I will see you in the next one.